time, compounding, leverage, and tax advantages. And when you mix these guys together, it becomes a powerful strategy for building your wealth, creating income, and leaving a legacy at the end of the day. So I started in 1986, more or less as a stockbroker, and that evolved into going into a more traditional financial planning and asset allocation, diversification, all of those things where you get told to do you know, with our finances. But over the years, I've kind of culminated this thing to just four keys to building your wealth. And they are time, compounding, leverage, and tax advantages. And when you mix these guys together, it becomes a powerful strategy for building your wealth, creating income, and leaving a legacy at the end of the day. So let's just talk real briefly about each one of them. Time. Well, here's the thing. None of us know how much time we have on this planet. So it's critical, absolutely critical, that we start today. We never get back yesterday. All we can do is focus on the future and tomorrow. So we want to get our money working just as quickly as possible. Now, in conjunction with time is compounding. Because without the compounding effect of money, then your money is really not growing. What is the compounding effect? Now, I call it a compounding period. This is the time it takes for your money to double. So for $100 to go to $200, to $400, to $800, to $1,600, and so on. And if we use what's called the rule of 72, it's pretty easy to calculate. Take any rate of return, divide it into 72, that tells you how long it's going to take for your money to double. Okay, so if I take a, an average 10% rate of return, let's say, I divide it into 72, that means that every 7.2 years, my money should essentially double. Here's the key, though. In an average life of, you know, 85, 90 years old, and let's suppose that we don't start working until we're, say, 25 years old before we start getting into the serious career type jobs. We only have about six or seven compounding periods before we retire. So it's just absolutely critical that we're taking advantage of those compounding periods. Losses are just devastating. Think about this. In 2008, when the market dropped 40, 50%, it took some people 10 years just to get back to where they were. That's a compounding period and a half almost. Lost, gone. You can't get that back. We don't have time, if you will, to make up for lost compounding periods. What we want to do is we want to use assets that are predictable, that have a decent rate of return, maybe have some tax advantages, so that when we're compounding and growing, we don't ever have to take those step back and lose a decade or more just trying to get our money back. So time and compounding, critical, critical elements. The next thing is leverage, how we can safely use leverage so that we can grow our assets faster. Now, leverage is a two-edged sword because if we're using leverage for uh, risky investments, such as the stock market, um, I had a client who called me one day. Uh, it wasn't a client at the time, but he called. He was almost in panic. He said his wife's never going to let him invest another dollar because they just lost a million dollars in commodity trading. Now, commodities and futures, those are highly leveraged assets. In other words, you can put in $100,000 and, and trade 10 or 10 times, maybe even 20, 25 times that amount in your trade. So it can, it can go extremely well if things are on your side and it can go against you fairly quickly. The best example of, of leverage that most, most of us can relate to is your home. Most people buy a house on a mortgage. So they might put 10 or 20% down, but they get the appreciation on the full amount. So what might happen is a home that's, uh, let's say you buy a half a million dollar home and it goes up 10% or $50,000, Maybe you only put twenty or thirty thousand dollars down, and now your money essentially is double. 
So the idea is using leverage makes your money grow faster. But again, we got to be careful of that two-edged sword because leverage can accelerate the upside and it can also accelerate the downside. So what we do is we want to leverage the most safe assets out there. Life insurance one of the most safe places that you can store your capital. Then the last one, the fourth key, is a big one, and that's tax advantages. You know, the biggest bill that any of us are going to pay in our lifetime is taxes. So if we can reduce or even eliminate taxes and put that money back into your system, your finances, reinvesting what would normally go to the IRS now is back in your pocket, this can be absolutely huge. And when we add the time, the compounding, the leverage, and the tax advantages together, you've got a strategy now that's literally going to build the wealth, tax advantage wealth, tax advantaged income, and ultimately, because we're using a, a legacy plan at the same time, if time is cut short in your life, you create a legacy for your family and your heirs at the same time. Mm -hmm.